Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have a new version of Firefox that has been released today, March the 4th, 2025, and it is Firefox 136. If you go into the um, hamburger menu on the upper right and help and about Firefox, you will be updated to 136.0. So what's new in here? Well, you might notice a few changes in the way that my screen is, and that's because now you can easily enable, uh, it was there before you could actually test it out, but now it's in full motion, the uh, vertical tabs feature where you can add tabs um, vertically on the left side of the screen and have you know more space on the top. Of course, it's customizable. You can go to the edge here and decide how big of a screen um, size you want for the vertical tabs. Some people like it, some people don't. It's really a uh, really a um, a feature that you love or hate. Um, I kind of love it on a big screen, uh, maybe less on a small laptop screen. It depends on, of course, how big your screen is. So there's that, and there's a few new blocking features and the uh, different settings for security. So depending on how you use your browser, they've added a little more blocking in the uh, privacy and security tabs when you uh, surf the web, uh, of course. Also, uh, there's a few more changes uh, and fixes. Um, you um, uh, have the uh, clear browsing data and cookies dialog that now supports deleting saved form information too. Uh, there's a hardware accelerated HEVC playback, which is now supported on Macs. Um, you also have um, Firefox will switch or has switched to a HTTPS first page, which means that that is what is now going to be asked a secure page before dropping into the normal HTTP connection. So uh, that's some of the few things in there. Also, of course, if the uh, new features aren't very interesting to you, one of the things that's important is that it actually has a fix for 15 security flaws. Several of them are high severity. So for at least the security flaws, it is important to uh, check it out as this will, of course, fix a lot of the... Uh, flaws. Uh, among them, there's a audio IPC stream data that could trigger a use after free in the browser. Uh, there's a um, rep, so what else? Inconsistent uh, comparator and XSLT sorting, uh, JIT corruption, all sorts of things. Passkey phishing within Bluetooth range is possible. Things like that are, are fixed that, you know, it's kind of important to, to fix. Uh, several are high severity, like I said. And, of course, there's a few in moderate and low severity at the same time. So at least for security, do uh, update your Firefox browser to 136.0. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.